Okay. Hello. Rosa, Hello. hi. What's with the uniform? New rules, you know. Huh. Uh, thanks. I'm coming. Welcome. I was wondering if you were going to show up. Hi, Mom. Hello, darling. <clears throat> Mom, this is Matt. Matt, my mom. Hi. Very pleased to meet you. Is this the lawyer friend you've been talking to me so much about? Uh, oh, uh, no, Ma. Actually, Matt's my roommate. Hmm. Obviously, you're a lot braver than James' elusive girlfriend, who still has yet to make an appearance. Yeah, where's, uh, where's the birthday guy? Oh, he's working late. I'll go check on dinner, and why don't you show your friend around? Please, make yourself at home. <sighs> that wasn't that bad. Oh, it gets a lot worse, trust me. Well, let me show you around. Come on. It's just how I left it. So what do you think? I don't know. It's weird. It's like stepping into a time warp. It just doesn't look like you. It's a little more complicated than that, Matt. I'm just no good at lying. You know that. It just seems a lot easier to me to just be who you are. I, I know she'd understand Matt. if you could. Now's not the time, OK? Maybe not. Matt, I'm serious. A clarinet? I knew it. I knew you couldn't possibly hide every single detail. Matt, don't. Look, come, you're gonna break it. No, I do. What are you doing? You don't know what you're doing. You're gonna break it. You don't know what you're doing. It's gonna be your fault. Oh. I see you've discovered the infamous clarinet. <laughs> I'm, uh, seeing a whole new side to James. He's full of secrets, isn't he? You'd make your mother so happy if we could hear you play. Oh, maybe a bit after dinner, Ma. Speaking of which, we'll start without your father. He'll probably join us for dessert. Oh. What? It's his birthday. And he isn't here. Besides, your friend is probably hungry. So do I get to stay in your room tonight? I'm more likely to play the clarinet. <laughs> so, who wants a slice? Ma, could we just wait a bit? Oh, please. The cake looks so delicious. You want some? Oh, no. Thank you. No. Oh, you look like a man who likes to eat. So I shall make the decision for you. <laughs> Please. I mean, if, if I ate every time I got hungry, I'd be fat. Uh, a man with restraint. I like that. But your <clears throat> cravings tell you who you are at the very core. And my core tells me to eat the cake. That's a very admirable philosophy. No, it's just mom's way of justifying a second slice. <laughs> Rosa! Rosa! Rosa will take care of this. James, I suggest you take your friend to the guest room. I am so sorry. Can I help you? Do you need pajamas, or do you always sleep like that? No, I'm good. 
Look, about early this evening, I am so sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Well, it really is quite lovely to have you here. It's nice to have youth around the house. It's inspiring. Oh, because you paint, right? I do. It's just a hobby I have, nothing serious. Time is more relative when I do it. Yeah, I know what you mean. I play music, so... What, what do you play? Piano. Oh, so seductive. <laughs> Not really, it's just a hobby, like you said. You said you had to leave early tomorrow? Yeah, I have to be there by noon. Well, I'll let you sleep in then. Good night. Good night. So I guess you couldn't sleep either. Um, your husband is home now, right? Oh, yes, but he won't even notice him down here. He must be exhausted. Your work's very nice. Um, how long have you been painting? Oh, I just started after James moved out. It's quite relaxing. You should give it a try. <laughs> well, I don't really think it's my calling. Try it. Just right there. Croissant? Oh, no thanks. Your father's still upstairs. Why don't you say goodbye? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go get the car started. We don't. <laughs> Please. Just don't hurt him. <laughs> 